Hello everybody, welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood, you are watching on YouTube. We are also on Daily Motion, and you can listen to this on iTunes as an audio podcast. Thank you to all the Patreon supporters, and thank you to everybody that came out to the Jimmy Dore Show in Chicago, July 15th, that was awesome. I got to meet some of you who watch the show and participate in the super chat. We had another super chat this past Sunday and it got a little annoying towards the end. I don't care if people disagree with me, that's fine. But when people just keep arguing and then several people were then making these kind of insane accusations about me just because they didn't agree with me, it's that type of arguing that like Trump and diehard Hillary supporters do. And if progressives can't hear somebody, you can't, if you just can't go, well, I guess agree to disagree, and you're just gonna keep arguing with me, then I might shut it down. There's definitely a couple people I will block next time I see their names that is going to happen, so buckle up for that. But if, and then you start blaming me like I'm part of the problem, uh, no, take your anger out on someone else. Lately, there's been a couple people who've just lost their shit on me, and uh, it makes me not wanna do this. It really does. Like, it's okay to disagree, but if you're gonna just get all wigged out and then, oh, I'm pulling my Patreon money or whatever, it's just like, ugh, fuck you. I'm not some, I'm not CNN. I'm a guy in a one bedroom rent control department that's trying to say what I believe in. And if you don't believe or agree with everything I'm saying, fine. But don't fucking accuse me. I'm not Sean Hannity or Rachel Maddow. Leave me the fuck alone. Hate to sound like a dad, but if you act like asshole kids, then yeah, I'll turn this car around. I'll shut this whole fucking thing down. I don't need to listen to this shit. I don't need to take an hour and a half out of my day on Sunday. <laughs> Cut my beach day short. I usually get excited for the super chats. We have these great discussions. And even when we disagree or have a debate, it's always interesting debates. But when people get personal and act like assholes and just keep arguing, fuck you, I don't need this shit. I'm not some rich guy. I made six figures one year in my life and it was like uh, a long time ago. <laughs> so if you're going to like take shit out on me and oh, your bias is affecting, that's why I'm pulling my money and whatever, man. Then I don't need to do this. I don't need to do this. So something to think about. If, if people on the left just lose their shit anytime someone on the left says something they don't agree with, then, then you're just like lunatic, react. you're just reactionaries. You're just like these dummies that, you know, set their Pittsburgh Steeler season tickets on fire because the Steelers took a knee. <laughs> I mean, how are you any different than them? So, um... Yeah, if you're going to make Gotham annoying and stupid, then maybe the left should just keep fighting within itself and this is why nothing gets done. Because the left just overreacts and it's just, how are you any different than the like, oh, I didn't vote for Hillary because she's pro-banking and pro-war. Oh, you sexist burn bro, you hate women. If you're going to make those crazy leaps of logic, then this show isn't for you. Then don't come to the Super Chat. If I leave the Super Chat annoyed, then... It's stupid. It's stupid. So I might not I might not do it anymore. So there's a couple people I absolutely am gonna ban when I see them their names next time. Absolutely. There's not even gonna be a discussion. Their names yanked. Um so buckle up for that. Um uh, yeah, I wanted to create a community of progressives and have this cool thing and talk about the things that the mainstream media is not talking about. And, you know, uh, the minute I say something you don't agree with, you call me some centrist and some out of touch, uh, what was I called? Some white progressive baby boomer? Well, first of all, I'm a Gen Xer, so wrong. And secondly, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. If this becomes a pain in the ass, I won't do it. You guys are just gonna be, I thought, we, I thought, I thought it was like weeding those assholes out. I thought this was like a, a, a community of like intelligent, educated people that could have discussions and debates. 
But then when people start making these crazy accusations, then yeah, I'll just I'll just fucking block you. I'll treat you like a dumbass heckler. Here's how I treat a heckler. You heckle me, haha, I'll make fun of you, get a big laugh. You do that again, I'll do it again. You keep doing it and you just refuse to shut the fuck up. I wait I wave to the club owner or the bouncer or whatever, and you get pulled out of the club and we're done. Or I'll just turn and fucking berate you. So that's how you're gonna get treated. Um yeah, and then some some people getting mad at me because I'm I'm making money. I need to pay my bills. This takes time out of my day. I got to get paid to do this. Sorry, this is what I do for a living. So I'm not going to come tell jokes for free. I'm not going to direct something for free. I'm not going to write you a script for free. I'm not going to act for free. It's not what I do. I don't do it for free. Unless it's a charity event. So think long and hard, guys. Think long and hard. Because I got no problem shutting this down. If we're going to attack each other, fuck you. Go watch Rachel Maddow. Go wear a still with her button. Or a Make America Great hat. Because I don't see how you're any different than them. <laughs>